there. I'm Sandy. And I'm Steve. And this is our bus, Lucille the Camel Bus. Uh, we have a 3800 International uh, with a 7.3 liter V8. Uh, on the outside, we got a uh, power awning. We got some outdoor marine speakers, an outdoor stereo. Uh, nice little dart board for shooting some darts during the day, kill the time. Uh, we got a little homemade table that we built up in Williams, Arizona. Um, we got an outdoor shower. I don't have the bar up, but it's got the whole shower curtain and everything. And so, have your privacy. And <laughs> you got a nice little uh, toolbox on the back there underneath for uh, tool storage. Um, got. We actually have a screen for watching movies out here at night um, with a projector. Uh, we got a hose bib to rinse off your feet and get the sand off. Uh, a little boot cleaner that I got from Fritz in the uh, Rome Sweet Home and help clean your boots off when it gets muddy out here. Um, we got motion detector lights. Uh, nice little doorbell so anybody comes to visit they can come in. All the way we got four security cameras, so we got all angles of the bus covered for day or night video. Um, got aluminum rack that uh, another another van person uh, donated to us to carry our fire grill. Uh, this way we don't have to put it up on the deck anymore. Um, we got a watchdog bullet. <laughs> nice little uh, light for night driving. Um, you get on them dirt roads in the desert, you know, at night and then the mountains. Um, you got 550 watts of solar panels on top. Uh, some of them have hinges so we can prop them up and, you know, whatever angle we're facing on the sun, we can get good view of the sun. Um, back here, I made a little gas can storage for our extra diesel fuel and unleaded fuel for the uh, generator so we always have gas and you can see you got another motion detector light on this side um, we got a full deck across the back there's a nice little hatch in the middle so we can still get up from the bedroom and go up there and she can catch the morning the morning uh, sun rises and I have my coffee up there enjoy <laughs> myself you can always tell here that if it's getting near sunset, everybody's up on their decks. Oh, yeah. Yes. It's beautiful up there. Uh, we got just a Camping World ladder to climb up there. More storage on the back when we're traveling. More storage in the back for traveling. Um, we got our antenna lines. We can take our antenna up from the top so we can get our TV in there if we need to. Uh, we got a backup camera, another motion light. Um, this is my propane storage for inside the bus for my water heater and my stove. And we have a 50 amp plug-in for the shore, uh, for shore power, or like right now, that's how I got my uh, solar plugged in. So I don't have to worry about doing any switches or anything like that. Uh, gotta, gotta have the American flag hanging. Um, well, we can go on inside and take Gander. Come on in and check it out on the inside. Come on in. We got a little homemade shoe rack. Keep all the shoes in check. <laughs> Uh, the dash, I had to redo the whole thing because it was just metal bars. So I got it all covered up with wood and all my CDs usually go right underneath the little lizard there. So I don't have to worry about them falling all over the place when I'm traveling. I'm going to let you guys walk through. <laughs> all, of our, uh, all of our curtain rods are made from uh, black iron gas pipe, just cleaned up and painted. Um, all the curtains came from our house. Uh, we had a friend of ours, while we were doing the build, they cut all the curtains in the house and made them fit and made 
curtains for the whole area and these are the, the blackout kind so that when you want it to be dark in here you can um, we still left the uh, dome lights the original dome lights in here for when she does start traveling with me then we can you know if she has to use the bathroom or whatever or she's not walking around here blind at night um, we got our pot belly stove which is not complete yet because I still got to run the vent out but uh, we actually bought that before we even bought a bus and <laughs> that in yeah. the flooring and I bought way too much flooring when I bought the bus but I wasn't quite sure how big I was going to go. So a lot of people do it when oh, they yeah. start getting the stuff before they actually get the bus. That's it. Uh, these statues were my wife's pride and joy. She had bought them over the years and I built the shadow boxes. They were hanging on her wall and that was the only thing she said was when you do the bus you got to incorporate them in there. Mm -hmm. So we just kind of cut into the wall and made them fit. Um, everything in the bus has basically been repurposed. Um, all the cabinets we bought secondhand. Uh, my wife sanded them down, repainted them. We just changed out the hardware on them. And the countertop was from a tattoo shop in Vegas with the sink. And then the stove came from a guy who had an RV, a little um, trailer RV and he was gutting it out and making it just a storage unit so he sold me the stove for it um we did the 12 by 12 tiles all the way down and then along the backsplash uh just to kind of do it and actually when we finish building our table we're going to use the same tile on top of it just to give it a nice little flow through i have a similar pattern on mine yeah yeah <laughs> And then we got the uh, Galan's 7.3 cubic feet fridge, which is nice because it doesn't have ice cream in it now, but we usually have ice cream in it. <laughs> so that's a nice little luxury we find out here in the, in the middle of nowhere. Uh, if you come on down the hallway for more, we have our closet, which is uh, cedar lined. It's a... Uh, not quite big enough for as much clothes as she has, but that's a woman thing. <laughs> and if you come over here, we did our shower and our tub, because uh, she wanted a tub in here, so we used an old horse trough, and then I just used the uh, roofing metal to kind of blend it all together. And it actually has two shower heads this one's right now holding this one up because this one has a tendency to fall down uh i gotta get a better holder for it but that's little projects i do here and there uh the curtain rod i just made out of copper pipe i uh, just soldered it all together and repainted it and then screwed it up to the ceiling yep. in here we have our toilet and our sink and the, all the little typical bathroom stuff that everybody has uh the sink's a little bigger than we probably would have normally have gone but i've seen every size sink it's all about happy wife happy life yep. <laughs> and then we got our tankless water heater here uh it's uh it only takes 1.2 gallons of flow to open up the flow rate to get it to crank on so and it's ventless so i just put a piece of diamond plate up there to so the wood's not constantly absorbing the, the, the moisture. And then here in our bedroom, we have a king size bed, which probably in hindsight, probably could have went with a smaller bed, but we have two dogs, so it gotta have the room for them. And we got movies to watch while we're on the road. We got the TV on one side, the computer on the other, so we're, got constant uh, constant entertainment whenever it's a rainy day and you don't want to go outside but we put all led lighting in uh throughout um that's the only thing i would have changed is these led lights are a little too bright and i have six of them in here and i don't think i hardly ever use them because it's they're just so hot and so obnoxious in my opinion yeah. i would have went with a, a little warmer lighting than this <laughs> i've actually got similar puck lights on a dimmer yeah i put the ones in the front on a dimmer like over my kitchen area i just left it bright my bed i got it so i can dim it down well we have we have these little led bulbs that are just run off of double a batteries 
and that's pretty much what we use in the bedroom because it's not obscene in there with lighting uh we do have two of these puck lights one on each side of the bed but like i said it's so bright i mean it just lights up that whole area and now your battery battery bank is under the bed yes i have a hundred gallon water tank underneath the bed um and then we have two six volt batteries tied together at 224 amp hours of bank storage right now um i'm actually working on a deal to get 12 volt system uh actually actually it's a 24 volt system to kind of upgrade you know as we go along you know it's yeah. constantly finding stuff that we can upgrade i went three years with the lead acid and finally upgraded to lithium last summer well these ones are uh six volts that are agms yep so but uh yeah they're uh we're slowly getting there i just you know i didn't want to keep the the, the actual lead filled you know <laughs> yeah you hear too many stories of different things about them. So. I could tell you some. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you. Very nice. And I bus. don't know if you noticed, we oh. have bamboo vinyl flooring throughout the bus. Um, that's. Yep. But this is uh, this is our little home, and we put our little screens on here, so we don't have to worry about bugs coming in through the hatch. Yeah, I like the screens. I don't know if people saw on the outside. It's the, the screens are big enough to cover two windows completely um which is nice yeah it makes it nice to be able to open the windows you don't have to worry about infusion of mosquitoes uh, do you, or flies do you do what i do i open the windows on hot days i'll open the windows as i drive yeah. and the airflow through it'll be 10 degrees cooler inside That's until it. about 10 minutes after i stop yep then and it warms back i see and that was a major upgrade we did in the back window and in the side door they were just the fixed glass the fixed tempered glass and i just happened to come across an rv boneyard and took out two of the windows and they fit perfect so we actually got be able where they slide open so we get more airflow through the okay you just gave me an idea for my next upgrade <laughs> <laughs> it, it made it nice i just kind of looked at it and i was like you know that might that might fit in there yep. so well, we did that and uh yep. i mean thank you They're but yes typically very we, nice plus. we only use the oh under light the you know here in the living room because it's it just gives you enough light where you're working and it's not like i said it's not obscene with like like the, the other lights hey okay. well thank you yes thank you hope you enjoyed that video and remember there'll be another one next saturday so please tell your friends and hit the subscribe button and uh give me a thumbs up if you liked it right see you next time youtube Bye.